welcome to my channel i'm Haley. oh my gosh you guys i just filmed so much of this video and then realized it had somehow switched to slow-mo so we're gonna start over i have this bag of empty sephora boxes because today we're gonna do a sephora try on haul but it's really more of a review i've been trying these things for a while the first product that i bought i have enough for almost a full face is the Smashbox Primerizer Plus. This is their new packaging, and I do think I already put it on my face in the slow-mo version, but I do think that this is maybe a little bit thicker than the old one. I still really like it. It's very hydrating. It's a little bit gripping, but I, I do think that this one is slightly thicker, and that one was a little bit thinner of a formula, but I'm really enjoying this so far. It says, smooth over clean skin, wear alone or under makeup to plump and hydrate skin. So I would definitely say that it both plumps and hydrates. So this is something I've loved for years and I'm happy to say that I still like this little, little bit of a newer formula and the newer packaging. So the next thing that I got is a Sephora brush. They were having a sale on Sephora brand products and I got the Sephora 70 brush. It has this very dense top um, and the reason I bought this is because the actual brush head of this looks very similar to the Dior brush that they sell with the Air Flash foundation and I'm pretty sure that's the foundation I'm going to wear on my wedding day so I wanted to try it out and, and see if I could get a really really flawless finish with it. So that being said, I did buy finally my real actual shade in the Dior Air Flash and it is 1N. I think I shook this well enough for you to really see it but that is my shade and I had a lady helping me who was actually a brand rep from YSL so she was really pushing YSL, understandably so, um, and their sister brands but she was really good at shade matching. She's probably like the best person I'd ever found at shade matching at Sephora so um, she did help me with that but she was pushing me to buy this. Just got a sample. It's the YSL foundation in Bazo. This is the foundation I'm actually going to be wearing today for you guys. I really like it. I definitely wouldn't wear it on my wedding day because it has SPF in it. And I was trying to tell her that because a lot of the time SPF will break me out, but also SPF causes flashback. And she was trying to tell me like, oh, you know, I'm sure it won't do that. But she was really good at shade matching and to test out this foundation for you today. I have been testing it out and it is really good. So I'll give more info about that later. And then I got some samples of some other foundations that I thought I could use in videos. So this one is actually a Gucci foundation. I don't know if Gucci has a lot of foundations, but but she helped me get a shade in this one. I figured I could test it out for you guys. And then she also gave me a sample of the Fenty foundation. So these are different ones that like she said she might recommend for wedding makeup, but in my mind, I already knew. The funny thing about Sephora is for some reason, every time I've gone to Sephora, they pretty much assume you don't know anything about makeup, which maybe that is the norm. For me, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not an expert, but I would will say like, I've probably watched thousands of hours of makeup YouTube videos and I make them. You know, I'm not like a huge YouTuber or anything, but I know something. So this is the Fenty foundation, if you can see that one. But we're gonna be using the YSL today. Oh, and if you're curious, in the Fenty, she gave me 210, and in the Gucci, she gave me 140W. All right, I'm gonna apply this YSL foundation. I'm just gonna put some all over. I do think that the shade match is good. It does have a fragrance, but the fragrance doesn't seem to break me out, which is really good. It's it's like a floral kind of fragrance. I would say similar to the Dior. And we're gonna use our brush. I would say that this foundation has a really similar finish to the Lancome Tan Idol, which I really like. It's one of my favorites. So we're gonna use this brush so you can see it in action. Now for this brush, I can already tell you, if you want something that's gonna spread product really quickly, this is not it but if you do want a really flawless finish this is great and then it, you smooth everything over with a sponge and it's like really flawless so but it does take time like if you're in a hurry this is not the brush i would use like i said it takes time but it's a really flawless finish that it gives you so if you have the time on my wedding day i'll probably start getting ready three hours early when i smooth out with a sponge i like to put more product on first a little bit just so that there's a little bit of product on the sponge this is a pretty much almost new sponge. So I did get a concealer. This one's from Armani, which is a sister brand to YSL. She gave me the shade 3.5 for blemishes. You guys, this foundation for covering blemishes is really good. Actually, my skin has been doing pretty darn well. It's, it's a good shade for blemishes. This is the shade in case you're curious. 
it's really pretty. I'm actually really glad that I bought this one. And I did finally buy what I think is my correct shade in the Precisely My Brow Pencil. If you saw my last Sephora haul, I bought the 3.5 and it's just a little bit too dark for me. But I think this, I think this one is better, especially with my hair color. You know, it's hard to get your brows to kind of match your hair color. What do you guys think? Better shade? I like the shade a lot more. I think it's a little bit warmer, but I think it kind of blends everything together pretty well. Now this next one, you're gonna know, was very, very expensive. However, once again, my wedding is seven weeks away and my birthday is also next month, so I figured splurgy splurgy on this one was okay. I got the Pat McGrath Divine Rose Palette. I had always kind of wondered, like, what's the deal? Like, what's the deal with Pat McGrath, you know? Like, why is it so expensive? Why is it so great? And when I saw this in the store, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. You guys, I could do a whole freaking review on this. Let me know if you want to see that. It is an older palette though, so I wasn't going to. This is like the most beautiful palette I've seriously ever seen. This shade here is one of my favorites. This isn't even doing it justice. It's so beautiful. And the um, glitter in here is so gorgeous. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use it for my wedding. Like beautiful. And I always get compliments when I wear it too because it's glitter, but it's so finely milled. Like, it's not like chunks of glitter. I do think for today though, that I'm just gonna do more of a simple look. I'm thinking like just something in the crease and then a shimmer all over. I'm gonna put this one in the crease. It's kind of a purpley brown tone. I think what I'm doing today is mainly like hanging out and then going to the beach later. So I don't feel like I need a super dramatic eye look for that. Okay, so I just popped that in the crease and then I think I'm just gonna take this shimmer shade and put it all over it's a duochrome it's like a white and a pink it's really pretty oh and a purple too kind of and i honestly think that that's all i'm gonna do i don't think that the camera is doing it justice let me turn the lights down i don't know if that's easier to see or not but now for eyeliner i got the sephora waterproof brush tip eyeliner you know i actually like this I will say though, it's not the blackest eyeliner I've ever used and I don't think it lasts super well all day long. I actually have been taking another eyeliner and going over this one. So it's like, I'll still use this up, but I don't know if I would necessarily recommend this, especially if you have hooded eyes like I do. Like I said, not the greatest eyeliner in the world, but does the job and it isn't bad. Like the brush tip's actually pretty good. It's more just like the formula is not super black and it's not super long wearing. So next is a repurchase, the NARS Orgasm Blush. I'm considering this one for the big day. It's always a great one. Even if I don't use it and I end up going like drugstore, like I've thought about a couple of Milani options. I figured, you know what? Always a great one to have in your collection. So I think the only other thing that I got that um, was not in this video was the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair. I think Jessica Braun and Tati have both talked about how much they like this. I really like it so far. Sorry, I don't have the bottle. It's it's in my um, bedroom and I have someone sleeping in the next room, so I don't want to disturb them, but I'm really liking it so far. It's like a nice thick cream and I have noticed a difference, but I, I don't want to fully say anything until I've tried it for a while. You know how it is with skincare. But I do think that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was super fun telling you about what I've been thinking about these products and showing you the ones that I picked up. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I hope you'll hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Love you guys. Bye.